All right, what's up everyone? Welcome to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. Today we're going to be going over Facebook ad split testing. So this is a pretty new feature that Facebook just released where they allow you to uh, let Facebook kind of run your split test for you. You can choose which variable you want to test. Uh, they have four different options and then you just allow Facebook to split test everything and then come up with whatever the best option is for you. It's a great way to optimize your campaigns because you can test different audiences, different ads, uh, different ad creative, different things like that. So you can uh, kind of find what works best for your business. So um, to get started, all you need to do is come to your Facebook ads manager here. We're going to click on create. Um, so when you come into a new campaign, there's all these different marketing objectives just to see which allow Facebook split testing. We've opened up uh, the Facebook split test help page and you can see all these different uh, campaigns, all these campaign goals um, can be used for split testing. So there's a few that you can't use um, like awareness, a couple different things like that. Um, so if we just scroll down real quick, we can see there's four different variables for split testing. Um, so each of the, you know, there's a lot of different options here. You have target audience, delivery optimization, placements, and creative. Um, so a lot of different things you can kind of test and just kind of keep optimizing so you can drive the best results for your business. So uh, we're going to get started here. Uh, the way I like to use split testing is to use conversion campaigns. Uh, my conversion campaigns is usually what I run if I'm running anything. Um, so all you have to do is click on this box here to do create split test. Um, so in the next step, they'll allow you to select which one you want to uh, create. So we'll just do a split test example okay we'll click continue um, so if you have a conversion event you want to optimize for you enter that here now um, obviously if app or messenger different conversion events you can use um, so enter your conversion event here because they'll, they'll still optimize for it as you're uh, as you're running different split tests uh, if you have an offer you want people to save you can enter that here but uh, here's what we want to show is the variable so um, it's gonna say what do you want to test um, so here's the four options here you have creative delivery optimization audience and placement Personally, I don't really like to test placement at all. I'd rather just uh, keep it open for Facebook and just allow them to uh, use automatic uh, placements. So they'll show my ad in Instagram and Facebook and, you know, the Facebook audience network. So unless you have a really high budget and you want to see how everything performs on different, uh, different ad placements for Facebook, there's really no reason to test placement, in my opinion. Uh, for me, I, I would never really taste plus, taste, test placement. Uh, excuse me. Um, I would only just keep it open and let automatic placements and Facebook will automatically optimize based on what's driving results because they're not going to serve your ads in places where you're not driving conversion. So um, I'm not going to show that in this example, but the other ones I'm definitely going to show. So uh, the order you actually test things in is really up to you. I would probably go creative um, and then audience and then maybe delivery optimization, um, but I probably wouldn't do that as much. Creative and audience are what I really like to test because I think that's really where you can find a lot of different uh, a lot of different results and a lot of different things to improve upon. So we'll start with creative here. So once we click creative, it's going to show how split tests are organized. So how it's going to show for us is it's going to have our ad set and we're going to have uh, multiple ads in one ad set. So come down here to our audience. Uh, we're just going to use one of our saved audiences here. You can fill out everything if you want. Uh, we have different tutorials for creating audiences and some best practices if you want to check out our, our YouTube channel. So we'll select our audience here. Um, so placements, again, automatic placements, that's what I like to use. Uh, delivery optimization. So this you can test this as well. Obviously, you have to create each split test separately, um, but you could test this as well. We're obviously going to optimize for conversions. Uh, we'll keep everything exactly the same. Conversion window, seven days click or one day view. Bid strategy, we're just going to do the lowest amount, um, you know, the lowest cost per conversion they can drive for us. Uh, ad scheduling, you can run ads on a schedule if you want, if that works for you. Uh, here's an important thing for split testing. So they're going to use your lifetime budget and split it evenly between uh, whatever it is you're testing. So if you have, if we're testing ads in this example, what we're going to do is say, okay, our lifetime budget is going to be $300 and maybe I upload three different ads in the next step and now it's going to test, each ad is going to spend $100. Um, but the one thing you can do is click on end the test early if a winning ad set is found. Um, so if they find that during your test something is obviously much better than some, than you know, uh, whatever the other alternative is, they're just going to tell you, okay, we're just going to end this test now because we can see this ad set's driving more results, um, this delivery optimization is driving more results. So they're just going to try to do whatever whatever works best, and they can find an obvious winner. They'll pull it out early. So um, for schedule, start and end, um, you, they recommend between three and fourteen days. I like to use at least seven days. Just keep it split a little bit. Um, so we'll go from the fifteenth to the twenty-first. They can split our budget up pretty well. Uh, so now we're going to click on continue. And in order to test ads, we have to actually upload multiple ads here. Um, so we're just going to do ad A, ad B, and ad C. Um, for our Facebook page, we're going to use farmhouse goals. Um, Instagram will be our connected Instagram account. 
Um, we're just going to use single image ads here. You can use carousel, you can use single image, you can use single video. That's really the best practice is to upload different types of ads. Um, you could do a full screen experience like a canvas. Uh, obviously, we have tutorials about pretty much all of these different types of ads if you want more, more information on them. But I'm just going to use single image ads. So. Okay, so what I'm going to do is browse my library. I already have my images uploaded, so um, so we can customize it for the Instagram feed as well. So just click right here, and it's going to be Facebook. If you click on Instagram, I like to use square image, so we'll just use the center right, just like that. So it's perfect, 628 by 628 for Instagram, and then 1200 by 628 for Facebook. Um, so for website URL, you obviously want to use a tracking URL. Um, so we've gone over this in previous examples. Okay, so what we're going to do is come over here and open up the Google URL builder so we can add tracking to the end of our URL. Um, so you can find this URL, we'll put it in the video description. Um, but what we want to do is send people to our website, farmhousegoals.com. Um, we don't have a separate landing page right now, but we would. If we did, we want to put that in here as well. Campaign source Facebook, medium, cost per click. Our campaign name would be Farmhouse Goals Split Test. Campaign term will be Farmhouse Decor. And campaign content will be Split Test Ad A. So this allows us to track everything separately in Google Analytics where we track all of our traffic and all of our conversions and everything like that. It allows us to just see more information about what our ad is doing after they click. So. Um, with the text, the headline, call to action, you want to keep everything the same for each ad because as you start changing up your different ad copy and things like that, it becomes more difficult for Facebook to kind of, for you to understand really, you know, what's working on your split test. Is it the ad copy that's helping drive results? Is it the creative that's helping driving results? So keep your ad copy all the same. So what we're going to do here is, um, you know, just maybe we're running a sale. We'll pretend we're running a quick sale here. So we'll do save 10% in March. Okay. So we're going to keep all of our ad copy the same. Um, so what we're going to do here, everything, this is all fine, uh, conversion tracking, it'll use our website pixel. Um, so we have all this good, good to go. We're going to click continue to add B. Okay, so now we're opening add B here. So what we're going to do is change our image out. Okay, so now once we upload this new image, it's going to save all of our ad copy that we entered in the previous step, so that won't change at all. It's just going to change the image here, which is exactly what we want. Uh, we want to come over to the Google URL builder here, do split test ad B. Okay, so we'll copy the URL because that'll allow you to see which ad is driving better results on Google Analytics uh, based on your website. So, okay, split test ad B. Use a different image for Instagram, so square, done. Okay, so we should be all good here. We have ad B, uh, right Facebook page and Instagram account. Okay, perfect. So now if you want to test another ad, you just click that here. We create a new one, so it'll start with ad C. So I'll just upload this real quick. Might as well. I already have the ad ready to go here. So oop, this one actually. So pretty quick once you get started with everything. So now all we have to do is click submit and then Facebook is going to run our ad. We have a $300 budget. It's going to split it between each different ad. Um, so that's all it is. Pretty easy, pretty simple. Um, we're just testing our creative here. So Facebook, whatever creative uh, is driving the best results here um, is going to be what we continue to go with for uh, you know future campaigns and what we can kind of learn more from. So these creative images are all pretty similar. You'd probably want to switch them up a little bit more um, so you can kind of see our, our images are kind of all similar. They're all a kitchen a farmhouse theme. Um, so you could switch things up a little bit, maybe try different lighting for pictures, different styles, things like that. So um, definitely test the creative. Uh, there's nothing wrong with uploading like four different ads here and just seeing what performs best. Um, and then you can kind of go with the top two or the top one and keep, keep testing as you improve. So we're going to come back to the ad set here. Um, so let's just say instead of doing creative, we want to do audience. Um, so much, much simpler to show audience here. Um, so if we click on audience for testing, it'll bring up different ad sets. So it has ad set A, ad set B, ad set C. Right now it's having the same targeting in each ad set. So what I like to use, use saved audiences. Um, we're going to target our three different saved audiences here, farmhouse decor, high income farm decor, and then as we farmhouse homeowners here. Uh, so that's all we're going to do. Automatic placements. So you do, do optimize for conversions. Uh, keep scrolling down. So if we do lifetime budget, $300, just like that. They're suggesting a $1,200 budget. Their suggestions are always way too high. Um, so it kind of, Facebook obviously wants you to spend more of your money on their advertising program. So I would recommend a lower lifetime budget. Maybe we'll do 400, 500 for audience testing. Um, so now what they can do is say for the next seven days, we're going to spend this in each ad set. Um, and we can end the test early if a winning ad set is found. When we click on continue, you create one ad for each ad set. So you don't want to keep 
kind of miss messing everything up. Maybe you use two ads um, if you want to use your creative test first and then just pull out the top two ads and put them in each ad set. Um, but you're better off just kind of testing the audiences here to see what performs best uh, what performs best for you in terms of targeting. So that's, that's kind of all audiences. It's going to split these up into three different ad sets. Whichever ads you create are going to go into each ad set. So that's all it is. Pretty simple uh, for testing audiences. Um, so delivery optimization, again, another very, very simple option here. So what you want to do is just target one audience. So you're just targeting one specific uh, one specific targeting option here. And you can optimize ad set A for conversions. Um, so you're going to try to drive conversions with ad set A. And with ad set B, you can scroll down and optimize for landing page views. So every time someone clicks on your ad and visits your landing page, maybe you want to do ad set C and we'll optimize for link clicks. So you could do this with different campaign options, um, different campaign goals. Um, so maybe you're trying to drive mobile app installs. Uh, maybe you want to drive clicks to your mobile app instead of installs. And you want to see which which option can actually drive more results. So that's why you're using optimization for ad delivery. Maybe link clicks will help you drive more results. Maybe you know using conversions isn't the most optimal solution for you. Um, so that's all delivery optimization is pretty simple. Um, you're just kind of choosing how you want Facebook to deliver your ads. So last but not least is placement. So with this, um, which all you really have is you're targeting one audience again. And you can choose automatic placements in ad set A, for example. In ad set B, I can say, okay, I only want to run on the audience network and Instagram or something. Um, so that, that would be my ad set B, would be just those placements. So maybe we come down to ad set C, we go to edit placements. Maybe I just want to run in the Facebook news feed, in the Instagram news feed. So that's it, just those two placements. So then I can split test that. So instead of doing automatic placements where they're kind of trying to test everything, I can just choose specific placements and they're gonna just test uh, you know, evenly just between those. So um, split testing, pretty, pretty self-explanatory. I mean, you're testing one variable at a time. Uh, you don't have to use split testing if you prefer. Uh, I still kind of upload my campaigns as like three or four ad sets at a time. And in each ad set, I upload multiple ads. Um, I keep automatic placements open. Um, and then, you know, you can kind of test things as you go and just keep improving. Um, just keep in mind, I love to track my URLs using the Google URL builder. You should also have a Facebook pixel on your website. You should have a conversion event on your website. So those are really important for improving your campaigns. Um, if you're not optimizing for a conversion or a key performance indicator for your business, uh, it's kind of hard to split test in general at all anyway. Um, so if you're just driving, you know, link clicks or things like that, you really want to have a conversion set up. Um, so for us, we usually use purchase here. Um, I just have page view because I'm not actually going to run this campaign. I just want to show this for, for an example. So if you have any questions about split testing, leave them in the comments. Uh, don't be afraid to kind of run a split test. You don't have to run the giant budgets they recommend. Um, in my experience, Facebook can kind of optimize your campaign pretty quickly. So even if you go to budget and say, okay, I just want to run, you know, three ad sets and I want to split $200 between it. Um, you know, it's not a big deal. Maybe you just shorten your, your test a little bit. You go from the 15th to the 19th. So you just run a shorter test, $66 in each ad set. Um, so don't, you don't have to use their giant budgets. Um, just kind of go with what works best for you and just keep improving, keep optimizing. That's the whole point of split testing. So uh, if you have any questions, again, uh, leave them in the comments. Thanks for watching our video today and don't, for, don't forget to subscribe.